Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're gonna to be trimming up some annuals and containers, and it's not something that I do every single year, but you can see what we've got going on here. We've got 10 giant pots that line our east fence line. They get sun for pretty much the whole day, most of the pots. There's one on the end that gets a little shade from the trees, so the growth isn't quite as robust, but we have a lot of season left. These have been in the pots for just shy of two months. We have the rest of July, August, the whole month of September, and probably part of October for these to go. If I was to let the, this do what it wants to do, it would just be a long mangy mess everywhere on the uh, driveway. So I wanna show you how we're gonna trim them back. We're also gonna add some slow release fertilizer right here. This is what we put in the pots in the beginning. We're gonna add more today. Even though we do have these on a weekly fertilizing schedule, we use the Proving Winners Water Soluble Fertilizer. And you can see that the plants are responding well to that. But a few of the pots, like let's maybe go down this way. You can see this one right here, also the sweet potato vines trailing on the ground. But a few have a little bit of a sparse growth habit. If you look at this one right here, this is a Vista Jazzberry. And while there's some really pretty flowers and stuff, I really want them to maintain a nice shape and not get flopped over and start losing color up here because they typically do that toward the end of the season. So what I'm gonna do, and usually what's the rule of thumb, like take 20% of the plant off, you wanna leave a good portion of the leaf canopy of your plant. This is gonna look severe though, you guys, cause I'm gonna take off most of the color. Uh, but what it will do is the plant will have energy to produce more uh, thick growth, more blooms, and it will have less plant to support right now when we're about ready to get hit with 105 plus degree temperatures for the next week. It's gonna be intense. So I'm gonna come in like this with my pruners. There's really no art to it. You just kind of shave off all of the growth here. Could probably just even use my hedge trimmers. And it's just gonna clean the plants up a little bit. And not all of them have like that flopped over look, but I'm gonna do them all the same today so they all look uniform and can hopefully grow back in uniformly. I know that looks so, so severe. It's a hard thing to do, honestly. And that's probably why, one of the reasons why I don't do it every year, because I'm like, they're fine. But honestly, by the end of the season, they do look like maybe I should have trimmed them at some point <laughs> along the way. With the sweet potato vine, it takes a little more time, but I do like to come in and try to cut them right underneath right underneath a leaf node. So that's the por portion of the stem right below where you see the leaf connected. So I come in right here and clip it, and that way it just gives it a clean look. And you're not in, uh, left with a bunch of kind of long sticks, little stubs, except for the stuff underneath, because you can't see that. Oh, this actually makes me feel like, oh, like the pot can breathe for a second. Sometimes I like that overabundant kind of look where everything's all over the place. And sometimes I want it to be like a little bit more tidy and I want to see the bottom of the pot. I'm in a different mood for it every year, I think. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna just keep doing this on this container. We'll stop after I'm done with this one, show you how we put the fertilizer in, and then I'm gonna continue on and do all the rest of them. All right guys, so this one's done. And it looks it looks pretty severe. And I mean, you can see how much of the leaf canopy I just took off, I mean like half of it, almost. It looks like probably shy of half of it. Um, but honestly, as I was doing it, it felt like I could breathe, like I could breathe for this pot. It's also a really good time to check for any kind of issues. There might be aphids going on, in which case you can use Captain Jack's dead bug. That works really well to handle the problem. We do spray these pots weekly with BT, um, which, takes care of the budworm, which may or may not be a problem for you, but the budworms come in and they eat the buds of the plants. So you'll either end up with a plant with no blooms or you'll end up with flowers that are full of holes and it just doesn't look very good. So we do spray with that once a week and that's a completely benign, it doesn't hurt pollinators, it just attacks caterpillars, they have to ingest it. Um, but it's a good time of year just to assess the whole condition of your pot. And I'm very happy 
that the leaf canopy underneath all this stuff still looks really healthy. It looks really good. So I don't really measure. I just go in, take a handful, and this is a heavier granule. It's not like powdery or anything. So it's really easy to just sprinkle it around the pot like that. And that'll just give it a kind of mid-season pick-me-up. And you know, if you're fertilizing every week, that's great. This is just a really good backup uh, if you happen to miss a week, but these plants are also heavy nutrient users. So I think you could fertilize more than once a week and be fine with that, even with the water soluble. So anyway, I'm gonna continue on. I got nine more of these to do. looking a lot more like they're able to breathe, but a lot less full of color. Uh, but I think here in two, it usually takes them about two weeks to rebound and start pushing a bunch more color. So I think we're gonna be thankful that we did this when we get later on into the season and into the fall, uh, because these won't, hopefully, won't look as tired as they normally do when we don't trim them. The other thing about it, and I don't think I mentioned it before, is that oftentimes those super tiny vistas and the super venas, they're so aggressive and they grow so fast that they will shoot branches up into the grasses and they look pretty and they'll bloom, but they drag the grasses down and they make them look a little bit more unkept. So I trimmed all of those out too. I had to do that in a surprising number of pots. And I felt like I was freeing these plants to be able to breathe again. And then, you know, with that addition application of fertilizer that'll help give them a boost and I think that we're going to see some really nice looking growth here in a little while. So I hope by seeing me hack away at these plants, I mean literally hacking away at these plants and making them look a lot less great than they did when we started. I hope that's encouraging to you guys because sometimes, sometimes I find it a necessary thing to do and sometimes I don't. Sometimes I've got containers that just the growth kind of stays in check. I don't have a sweet potato vine that's, you know, trailing all over the land and I don't feel like I need to trim them. So sometimes you may not have to, but other times you might look at your containers midsummer and think, oh, those are just looking a little tired. I wonder what I could do to make them look better. Well, you know, definitely keep up on your consistency of fertilizer, consistency of water, but you might also consider trimming a little bit and you don't have to take it as severe as I did today. I just got into the project and thought, these need a good trimming. And you guys, that is it for today's project. It is starting to get really hot. Our 10 day forecast, maybe we can pop it up on the screen. So you can see the temperatures that we're gonna be dealing with hovering around 103, 105, and that's, uh, that's hot. So we probably won't be doing like super long uh, videos or super big projects. I might go take after the pots at the barn though at some point, maybe later this evening uh, when it's a little bit more shaded. Uh, those are looking a little bit like they're heading toward the spindly side of things, so I might give those a trim as well. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful, and we will see you in the next one. Bye.